We're going to go through those 70s pretty quickly. 77 by 9, 75 by 10 p.m. in our 11 o'clock temperature with a mostly clear sky by then, 74. Any clouds we have right now will continue to dissipate after the sun lowers. Here's the big picture. As you see here, this is the storm that moved through. Low pressure continuing to move away, dragging the cold front along with it. So even starting to dry out toward the Lake of the Ozarks region. Now, because the humidity is pretty high, cannot rule out a stray sprinkle and only about a 20% chance of that happening, not only this evening, but also on Saturday and Sunday. Hardly worth mentioning, but I just don't want you to be totally taken off guard with that. If you look farther out west, obviously it is pretty dry out over the plain states, and we'll probably stay that way for several more days. Low temperatures by tomorrow morning, about 68 degrees in Kansas City, 65 Maryville, 68 out toward Ottawa. Still kind of muggy, but the wind's fairly calm and out of the northeast at about 5 miles per hour. 12-hour forecast breaking it down for you on your Saturday. 70s turning to the 80s and only going up to the lower 80s. But as I mentioned, the humidity is not really that low. So it's not one of those fronts that moves through that and everything's feeling refreshing. Dew points are going to stay relatively high, which is why we're using the buzzword muggy for the next couple. Exclusive first alert nine day forecast starting in the middle 60s, ending up with a high temperature of 83 degrees. 84 on Monday, Tuesday's high temperature 84. Wednesday, 88 degrees. By Thursday, we'll see a high temperature of 89. And back toward Friday, that's when we get back into the 90s. Women's soccer back in in play as well as the Royals by then and staying in the low 90s by next weekend and morning temperatures once again getting stuffy in the 70s by then.